Hello, my name is David Blom and I am from the Neuromuscular Taping Institute uh, in Rome, also in New York. This is an introductory neuromuscular taping basic course uh, that we are holding here in uh, Mekele in Ethiopia. It is a four-day intensive training course, following up with uh, four days of intensive um, training of people who we train in their real hospital situations. Uh, the objective here is to introduce to Ethiopia a new rehabilitation technique, a rehabilitation technique which is based upon low-level technology. If you're aware that, if you know, uh, as you know, neuromuscular taping uses a simple cotton tape with elastic fiber, contains no medication. It is a simple tape that we apply over the body following a longitudinal anatomy of the, of the muscle, tendon, skeletrical structure, but most importantly following the longitudinal elasticity of the skin. So our objective is to apply a tape to increase the blood circulation and drainage over the area that we treat and so consequently we are going to assist in rehabilitation. Our objective is to introduce to Ethiopia a very manual, low technology, which means low cost uh, therapeutic system, which exists in, in Italy, in the United States and several other countries. This is a course, a practical course, um, together with uh, Mekele University, Mekele Hospital, and the Mekele Orthopaedic uh, Therapeutic Services Clinic. Um, thanks to them, uh, we are able to bring a volunteer group to Mekele in Ethiopia, uh, comprising of six physical therapists, uh, one uh, doctor specialised in rehabilitation, uh, who has assisted in the training process and to see uh, the various um, patients that we will see over the next uh, eight days. Pretty slowly anyway. Okay, so we're going to be starting uh, four days training in neuromuscular taping. Neuromuscular taping in the upper and lower extremities on the abdominal area, on the back area, thoracic area, neck, and um, upper back. If you have internet, you will be able to see some of the information on the website in English, nmpinstitute.org, okay, which is the website based in New York. Okay. So, I know uh, a few people from Ethiopia, in New York, and in Rome. But this is the first time for all of us to be in Ethiopia. <laughs> okay. So, application. Okay. So, Julia. Okay. Physical therapist. Uh, Alessandro. Alessandro. Okay. Physiotherapist uh, from Naples. Julia is from Rome. Andrea, physical therapist from Padua. Tabia, Tabia, Nibiran, okay. Uh, Otavia is a doctor, okay, Physi uh, physiatra, okay, doctor specialized in physical rehabilitation, also from Rome, okay. Um, Deborah is also a physical therapist. Uh, highly specialized in neurological rehabilitation from Torino, Turin, 
Okay. So if you have any questions, you'll be able to ask them. Okay. In English, also in Italian. Someone speaks Italian here? No one speaks Italian. Maybe the Popo Court. Finger up until half the length of the forearm, half. And so this is the length of the tail. Okay, so we have to go to the extensions of that. important to cut straight, okay, just like that, and then the other one. Okay. So in this way, we have five single strips, just like that. Okay. Cut into these strips in this way. Touch the glue because if you touch the glue, it's not going to stick to the skin. Okay? So, turn like this. We're going to apply it over the extensors. So, we are going to apply the tape over the skin which is stretched. So, we're going to put the elbow into flexion, the wrist into flexion, and the hand into flexion. Just like this. Just for a second. Okay? We're going to apply the tape, you see there, at the base of the fingernail, just at the base. We're not going to cover the fingernail, but at the base of the fingernail. And we take off the paper, like this. Don't touch the glue. Clench fist. Okay? And we're going to apply the tape. You see how the tape is stretchy, but we don't stretch. You apply the tape, no tension, no tension. The first thing we have to learn today is to not stretch a tape. Okay, just like that. You have to rub very well before you move. Turn around, like this, and down. Take off all the tape. Put the tape one on top of it. the tape, two centimeters on one side, and two centimeters on the other side. Okay, just like that. Okay. So we're going to take off the paper, fold like that. Okay, make sure there's no tension. We're going to apply the tape, centering the muscle fiber in the middle. Here is the vertebra, so it's two centimeters lateral to the vertebra. And then we're going to stick it like that, and then rub on top, okay? So this is a Balotelli taping. No tension. Okay? You start at the same point, you finish at the same point. 
and then you rub on top. Okay? They always have to be exactly the same. Exactly. So when he comes up, perfect. Okay? So you see the wrinkles? Okay? If there is no wrinkle, it's going to be compression. Now we have to activate the tape. How do we activate the tape? By walking. You want to walk? Wrinkles. No wrinkles. 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 Okay? Five times. So in your clinic, you have to do that. You put the tape and you activate. You get the walk around. Go. Go down again. Go to where you can go. Five centimeters. Oops, a little bit more. I'd like to introduce myself. Yes. My name is Girma. I'm a, uh, the manager of Michele Orthophysiotherapy Center. Uh, today we are providing training for uh, health professionalists, physiotherapists, and uh, nurses uh, concerning neuromuscular training, which is uh, uh, a low level technology and effective uh, treatment which is new to our country, to our uh, professionalists, sales professionalists. Uh, this training program is uh, uh, provided through the collaboration of uh, Mekele University Medical Science College, uh, Foundation Butterfly Onolis, uh, a neuromuscular taping institution, and uh, Tigray Disabled Veterans Association and Mekele Orthophysiotherapy Center. Uh, the trainers, uh, the trainers are around 50. The training will be stay uh, four days, uh, uh, practically and theoretically, and the rest four days uh, will be uh, we are going to provide in every hospitals, uh, provide service at uh, neuromuscular taping service to our patients. Uh, we expect around 150 patients will be get uh, training, uh, the, such kind of uh, treatment. And uh, uh, most of them are clamp feet, uh, amputee rehabilitation, stroke patients, uh, mostly concerning with neuro and uh, uh, muscular uh, uh, health problem. Uh, our project, uh, it will be continued in 2015. In the coming August and uh, in the beginning of January 2006, we are going also to provide training together with all stakeholders. And uh, uh, a lot of uh, health professionals will be trained, and uh, 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 most of our patients uh, they will get access to such kind of treatment. Yeah. And finally, I would like to say thank you to all partners like uh, Foundation uh, Butterfly Onolis. Uh, neuromuscular Institution, Makale University Medical Science College and Tigray Disabled Veterans Association for their uh, collaboration, uh, for their support. And I, I hope uh, this project will continue and uh, 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 we are really uh, we are going to create access to all uh, disabled people of the region. Thank you. Thank you. It assists in normal movement of the body together with the tape. If you apply a tape with a uniform glue, it is going to limit movement and it's not going to encourage movement. Okay? The other thing is, is that you have glue, no glue, glue, no glue, glue and no glue. Which means you can leave the tape for longer periods of time. You can leave the tape for one hour, one day, two days, three days, four days, seven days, sometimes even ten days. If you apply the tape for ten days, the skin will still uh, breathe and transpiration will not be limited. 
So, it allows normal skin transpiration. It's going to adhere for several days, up until one week, and in some cases, just like the lumbar application, this can stay for 10 days in certain cases. But the different types of of okay, how it's cut differently. Okay, so again, choose one. Ah, that one now. Okay, so bring up the arm to 45 degrees in that position. Oh, just like that. Don't move. Okay. So we take the tension off the tape. And we apply the tape with no tension, which means compression or decompression? Decompression, correct? Let's see if it sticks better. Okay, so it sticks better. Okay. So it's going to wrinkle, yeah? Okay, so do this movement seven times. Choose another one. Range of movement. Feel this range. No, no, feel this one. Like this. This side. Okay. Okay. And then the opposite. To look at the range of movement. Okay. Okay. That one is slightly more. Okay. Okay. And down. Four. Still decompression. So this is, you know, bring up your other arm. Which one wrinkles more? Have a look, which one is wrinkling more? This one here, okay? Now do seven movements, like this. Okay, which side? Thank you. Which side do you feel lighter? This side or this side? This. Okay. Relax. Now feel which one is softer. You want to come up? This one. Okay. Feel one and the other. Which one is softer? On the right side. Okay, come up and feel again. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we go into this position. Okay. So if you see here, which one has a bigger range of movement? Yeah, this side. And then on the opposite. Okay, just like that. See here, this one is starting to be more, more mobile, okay? Has a greater range of movement. Okay, so, we hide, can you come up like this? Okay, if this side has more wrinkles, you see like this, okay? You see it has more wrinkles than this side? So which one is in more decompression? This side is going to be more in decompression, okay? But it's the same tape. Same distance, same position, but it is a different width of tape. And so the width of the tape is the key to the treatment process. Okay? So, take this off. Now we're going to apply this one. Still put the arm into 45 degrees, just like that. Apply the tape. This way. It in dorsal flex. No tension. 
and to apply the table. Mm -hmm. So if you start at the same point, you are going to finish at the same point. Just like that. You have to press, you have to fix the tape, and then make sure it's stuck well, okay, in this way. And so when it comes up now, bring up the other arm. Okay, which side has more wrinkles on it? The right side or the left side? The left side now, okay. And now when you move, which side do you feel lighter? Feels lighter on that side or this side? This side. More wrist, wrist flexion. When you come up, wrist flexion. Wrist flexion. Up and down. Okay. Seven times. Okay, relaxed, relaxed, relaxed. Now feel the difference between one and another. Now there is a little difference or big difference. Now there is a big difference, yeah. Yeah, okay. And so we go to this position. Okay, and so this has a bigger range than this one, okay? Okay, so we have, when we use decompression technique, we cut the tape into three different ways. Five centimeters, two and a half, or one. So, which is the maximum decompression? One centimeter. Followed by two and a half, followed by five. Which one of these three techniques works more in the surface area? A fan, a Y, or five centimeters wide. Which one works more in surface area? This one, the fan cut, okay? This is going to work on the skin level, on the connective fiber level, okay? On the vascular level, lymphatic drainage. We are going to use this. If you have a bruise, we are going to use this. If you want to work at the muscle, you remember the deltoid yesterday? The deltoid, we did not use this, okay? Deltoid, we used two and a half centimeters because we want to work at two and a half centimeters deep into the body. One centimeter wide works at one centimeter depth. Two and a half centimeters wide works at two and a half centimeters depth. So if you want to work on the biceps, on the deltoid, on the quadriceps, on the flexors, we are going to use two and a half centimeters wide tape. Five centimeters we used yesterday where? On the lumbar area. Because on the lumbar area we want to work at deep in the body. Okay? The muscle fiber is a harder muscle fiber, which means we have to work deeper in the body. Okay. Okay? So you see here, lateral, not anterior, but lateral. Okay? And then you rub very well, so it's when he comes back, all five tapes equal, just like that. Come back. Okay. Okay. The body, dorsal flexed, external rotation. Okay. So you see the clavicle here, so you're going to go close to the center. Okay, so here it is half, half a clavicle, okay, this is one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, so we're going to start there, below the clavicle, okay, so we're not going to start here, we're going to start one quarter medial of the length of the clavicle, okay, again, you're going to break the paper, just like that. Put four strips on top of the shoulder. You start with the lower one. So with the arm into this position, you're going to go straight to the corner, armpit corner, medial border of the biceps, medial. And the next one. You're going to go straight. And then middle of the biceps, middle, middle. 
And the next one, you're going to go straight, just like that, and lateral to the biceps. Lateral. Okay. And now we're going to lower to 45. Stop. And then keep on going. Okay. And then the last one. The last one is below the clavicle, on top of the acromion. So you see here, okay? Not posterior, but lateral. You cross over just on two, okay? One and one, or two and two, maximum, okay? So, so all the movements towards anterior and lateral, okay? This tape is working in decompression. Posterior is working in decompression. Anterior, posterior. Any movement is going to be improved. Increasing blood circulation, drainage, anterior. Okay? Okay, so now once you're taking in rehabilitation, because it is going to reduce the pain. Reducing pain is going to improve rehabilitation. Reducing the pain is going to reduce the use of painkillers. Reducing the use of painkillers reduces your hospital budget. Okay. Reducing bruising, hematoma and edema. Very quickly, okay, as we saw yesterday, the day before yesterday, applying a tape over a bruise means that within three to seven days, any sort of bruise congestion is drained away. If you reduce edema, if you reduce hematoma, you are going to reduce the, the risk of infection. Too much congestion, too much bruise for too long a period of time, the risk of infection increases. Too much immobility increases the risk of infection after an orthopedic trauma, as we have just seen. So, if you are able to reduce this, you are able to see more patients, you are able to discharge your patient earlier because your patient is better. You're going to shorten the waiting period, okay? Okay, and you are able to start a rehabilitation process faster if you use this system. Infection, cancer, thrombosis. Say, so if, you, if you have thrombosis, and you apply a tape which dilates, that thrombo will move. Okay, so it's contraindicated. Skin cancer, skin open skin, we are not applying the tape over the open skin. If you want to heal, you apply proxim. Precaution in pregnancy. Pregnancy, we do not apply the tape on the abdomen area or on the spine. But everything else. Okay. We have the lateral longitudinal line of the leg, which goes from the head of the fibula, which is here. Okay. So this is a line, longitudinal axis of the leg. Okay. So it's exactly that. So we are going to apply a tape where we have edema. We don't have edema here. We have edema here. Okay. So it's useless to put the tape under here. So we are just going to apply the tape lateral to the ankle. So our reference points are number five, number four, number two. I'm watching everyone today, same size, okay? You group over there, same size. Put the tape where it falls, okay? In the middle of this lateral longitudinal line. Okay, in the middle, and then you're going to cut the paper like that, and you always start posterior, posterior. So you take off the paper, don't touch the glue, touch the paper, okay, don't touch the glue. Now we have to apply the tape over the skin which is stretched, so we're going to put it in five different positions. First one. Dorsal flexion, posterior, see the Achilles tendon, Achilles tendon, 
and then lateral to the foot, no tension. Okay, just like that. Because here the skin is stretched. Here the skin, not stretched. Skin is stretched here, posterior. The skin is not stretched here. Skin is not stretched here. Skin is not stretched here. Number two. Fold, break. Okay, to stretch the skin here, dorsal flexion in inversion. Now the skin is stretched. Straight. Change direction. Lateral to the fifth toe. Lateral. Okay? You see the directions here? Okay? Two strips posterior to the malleolus means the foot in dorsal flexion. Now we go anterior. Plantal flexion. Maximum internal rotation in inversion. Now we get the third strip. Take off the paper, fold, just like that. Break the paper, throw the paper. Malayalus. Anterior to the malayalus. Anterior. Okay? Now here, you get the fifth toe, stretch. Stretch the fifth toe. No tension. And you go straight towards the fifth toe, on top of the fifth toe. Okay? Fourth one, take off all the paper. <laughs> Reduce the inversion, increase the plantal flexion. Same distance, same distance, same distance. Okay, stick. Fourth toe, stretch the skin, lay it down. Okay. Stick it very well before you move, okay? Next one. Fifth one. Plantal flexion, pure plantal flexion. Go straight. <coughs> same distance, same distance, same distance, same distance. Second toe, stretch. Stretch the second toe. Don't stretch the tape. Stretch the toe, not the tape. Apply the tape. Tap, 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 tap. Stick better. Like that. Ten times, okay, and finish, okay. So when you go up like that, you see how the tape wrinkles right up until the toes, okay, creating decompression in this area. No wrinkles here, because here wrinkles in plantal flexion, wrinkles posterior. No wrinkles here, wrinkles, 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 wrinkles. So we're going to use this for what? What are the symptoms here? What symptoms we use this for? Pain, edema, hematoma, bruise, inflammation, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis of the ankle. Okay? Today we did here because we had arthritis here, here, and here. Okay? So we did a different technique. So this is arthritis here. Fracture. Okay? After a fracture on the ankle, on the foot, on the distal part of the fibula or the tibia, we apply the tape when? Same day as the fracture? <coughs> yes or no? Yes or no? Same day as the fracture? No. no. After how long? <coughs> Two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Okay? Okay? Depends. Depends what sort of fracture. If you have plaster up until here, where do you put the tape? At the knee. Okay? When you take the plaster off, or immobilization off, you apply the tape here. Okay? 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 So, let's do this. We have half an hour. Okay? Eccentric stimulation anterior and eccentric stimulation posterior. So, when we extend the knee anterior, the tape is pushing. Posterior inflection, the tape is pushing. So, the dynamic between movement and the tape, which is working like this, working like this, working like this, is going to improve the functional flexion and extension of the knee.
Scrivo una laterale. Scrivo una laterale. No, vedi che è frustrante. And then go straight. Ok? Uh, this case is interesting because uh, even though the patient has a full leg prothesis, he is not able to use the prothesis because he has too much pain, local pain and phantasm, uh, phantom pain. So our objective here is to treat the pain so the patient can reapply the full leg prothesis so as he is able to regain some sort of autonomy. Because at the moment, excessive pain, no prophecy, he is walking with a, with a uh, walking stick. This distance is two centimeters, two cm. Okay. Take off the paper, fold the paper like that, and then you pull down. Okay. And a little bit straighter. No, no. Yeah. Soft. Okay. Gently. Okay. Okay. You can come and feel here as well. Soft and hard. Okay. So this is hard. Two centimeters, two centimeters. So. Stretch down, stretch down. No. Okay, so this is a treatment protocol, five minutes. Okay, you can't spend any more than five minutes on this. Okay, between cutting and applying, no more than five minutes. Okay, okay. Additional radial deviation, down, radial deviation, stretch the skin up and go down. Okay. Okay, just like that. Neutral position wrinkles. If there is no wrinkles in the neutral position, when I come back in July. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have maximum wrinkling like this. So now, still so elbow extended, change the position, wrist down like this. Okay, down like this. So when she comes up, okay. Okay. 